this looks fun, right? So much yeah, fun. it's a sweet yes. take on the original Nutcracker just in time for the holidays. <laughs> It's Debbie Ellen's The Hot Chocolate Nutcracker, the seventh year for the show, back again at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. It's this Friday and Saturday, and Debbie is here to tell us all about it. That's a great show to take the kids to, right? It's a or anyone. wonderful family entertainment, great for the kids. I mean, even the three year olds that come, two year they just have their attention span is just there. And then for the adults, it allowed a couple of wonderful jokes that go over the head of the kids. <laughs> but it's wonderful. The rats actually take over the story. Yeah, the rat, there are three rats, there right? Three they kind rats. of lead the journey yeah. through a lot Harvey, of different adventures. Harvey, Schmink, and Bucky. And Harvey's kind of like a New Yorker. I think he's, you know, uh, one of the guy, wise guys. <laughs> <laughs> and Myrtle, Tisha Campbell is playing that part this year, and she's amazing. She's absolutely so funny. We can hardly get through rehearsal. And just joyous. And uh, of course, we have Dion Watson and Matthew Johnson. It's just going to be an amazing show. Tashina Arnold is also in the show. She plays the mother. And you're in the show? I'm in the show. I play Bucky, the, 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 the young stuttering rap. Harvey, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, it's so much fun. And we hope everybody will come out because. God knows we need a wonderful holiday season. Right now, we all need we some all joy. Use some fun, right? And this is a great way to start. Right, right downtown at the Dorothy Chandler. Yeah, you were there last year. Was your first year we there, there, right? We were there last Sold year, out. and it was so successful. They asked us to come back again, so we want to, you know, do it. We go to Bollywood. We go to Egypt. We've taken the story and made it just a little more culturally diverse. Mm -hmm. An original score. With people like Arturo Sandoval, Mariah Carey, uh, James Ingram, just a great, great entertainment. And when you talk about that diversity, you're going to see it in the cast yes. as well. Yes, we have every child from every complexion, ethnic group. You want, you know, Asian, Latin American, white, black, Latin, every everything, everything is right there. And some of these dancers from your academy, and I, I know this is a nonprofit agency. You're in the community. You're helping these young dancers really find themselves. Yeah, the, well, the Debbie Allen Dance Academy is committed to expanding the footprint of the arts because we know there is nothing like the arts that will build confidence and creativity. And creativity is what's going to keep America number one, really. In innovation, you know, it's the same part of your brain that the scientists use. That's why they always say the arts and sciences. So I'm just pushing for more arts in the public schools all the time. And so I'm doing my part, and I have a great deal of support from the Annenberg Foundation. Ms. Wallace Annenberg has been incredible. And we have a school show where we are totally sold out. We have a line a mile long to get in. And Jada Pinkett Smith, Denzel Washington, and Pauletta and the AIDS Health Foundation have helped underwrite those tickets. So we're really grateful for the support, but we need more. That's all I can you tell need you. We put, need more. And you need to put people in those seats for And we need Friday, people to Saturday come in night. and we need to sell out Friday and Saturday night, y'all. Come you, on, y'all. You're going to do it. You did it last year. You'll do it again. Thank you I hope so, so much for Thanks being here. Thanks for having me. All right, you can still get tickets. The show is Friday and Saturday at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, downtown LA. For all the information, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and scene on TV. We've got